I know, Gray, it's already Easter Sunday for you, uh, but it's, mm-hmm. it's going to be Easter Sunday for us in about an hour. So this has to do with Easter. And um, I'm not religious. Dan is not religious. Um, Gray, I'm not sure how. I, 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 I'm definitely not. <laughs> definitely. Okay. But you probably know more of the you know uh, Roman Catholic stuff, the Catholicism stuff, more than, uh, uh, more than me. I probably forgot. <laughs> I know, I know, I know it pretty well. I, I was, I was Catholic okay. for most of my yeah. life. And then, I, 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 and then my I, wife's I, family. I, I, like, I, I, I told Andrew, don't ask me what the hell is Monday, Thursday, or Good Friday, because I have no idea. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, so the thing is that this comes from us, from our dumb ass president here in the U.S. Oh boy. You ready? You ready? Today, we send a message to all transgender Americans. You are loved. You are heard. You are understood. You belong. You are America. And my entire administration have your back. Maybe if I can smell it first. Now, therefore, I, Joseph R. Biden Jr., President of the United States of America, by virtue of of authority, Vested in me by the Constitution of the United States, do hereby proclaim March 31st, 2024, as Transgender Day of Visibility. Are, are these guys Chinese? I don't know, because their eyes are pretty small. I call upon all Americans to join us in lifting up the lives of the voices of transgender people throughout our nation's work on discrimination identity. In witness whereof I have hereunto set my hands, which I touched a little girl yesterday and it smells really good still and I haven't washed it since the 29th day of March in the year of our Lord, 2024, of the independence of the United States of America, 248th, signed Joseph R. Biden Jr. That means that moving forward here in America, Easter Sunday is known as Tranny Day. Oh boy. How do you feel? Well, he's he, and by I he put he in quotes. You can't see my quotes because this isn't him. This is the party. He's a puppet yep. of the party, and the party has a lot of balls to declare 2024 the year of our Lord at the same time as putting the stuff that is clearly not biblical. And I, I say this as someone who is not religious and is a former Catholic and I'm an anti-theist and in all that stuff. So, but I know logic. And so to say that this is the year of our Lord, like you have any kind of fucking reference or reverence for it. And then at the same time say that his grand design is fundamentally flawed and we should all just say, screw it on this day. And the other thing is that what do you mean? Today's their day of visibility. That's all it is, is visible. You, we can't get away from it. It's like mm-hmm. Ad said, you put it in everything. You make it known in everything. There is there's no way to not be visible. So what do you mean today's the day? Mm-hmm. Ridiculous. Yep. Isn't there like a shit ton of days that recognize recognizes like each individual like alphabet in the in the, in yeah. the, in the fucking tribe flag? Year. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So like I I don't get it. Like, like it's just there's 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 at least like over 25 days like everything is about like oh it's either about you know uh non-binary and it's like a it's not even just non-binary encompassing the entire non-binary it's like non-binary specific verge like specific super like non-binary person that half his leg they them's legs lopped off and uh, it's now like uh like a paraplegic that and then the next day is a non-binary day for a person who who uh lost lost a, a finger or some shit it, it's very very specific there's like 50 of them right so i i don't freaking get it man it's um it's there's so many okay here's a list i'm gonna bring it up here's a list of everything that's recognized okay so aromatic spectrum awareness week LGBTQIA plus Health Awareness Week, Transgender Day of Visibility, which is March 31st, International Asexuality Day, International Day of Pink, Day of Silence, Lesbian Visibility Day, International Day of Against Homophobia, Biphobia, and Transphobia, and then uh, Agender Pride Day, Harvey Milk Day, I'm, pre- I'm assuming that's Harvey Weinstein's milk, 
uh, Pansexual <laughs> and pan, pan, pan Romantic Awareness Day. And then June, the entire fucking month. And then there's a couple more days in June because you gotta, you know, you gotta double down. Stonewall Day, International LGBTQ Plus Day, International Non-Binary People Day, International Drag Day. So yeah, someone said, is there a drag day? Yes, there is. And then um <laughs> and then bisexual awareness week, celebrate bisexuality day. Entire month of October is LGBT History Month, and International Lesbian Day, National Coming Out Day, gender. F- oh my, there's so many. It this is fucking insane. Well, we just need a day to see that that they're visible. It's it's totally different than I saw one at the end there was Transgender Awareness Day. That's totally yeah. different than Transgender Visibility Day. Come on, I yeah, mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So like trans Transgender Visibility Day of Visibility is for blind people. <laughs> it's for blind people and Asian people with small eyes, right? And this trans Transgender Day of Remembrance. So that one is it. It is it, it, it is that it's like the, the crazy thing is like are they recognizing the the people who have like mental breakdowns and like shoot up schools? Are they recognizing that? Disproportionately rec- represented by the alphabet people. Yeah. So this this is this is this and then this person put happy trans visibility day and post <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I thought Joan Rivers died. What what's going on here? Big Mike. <laughs> I don't know, man. Gray, how do you feel about this, man? This is the craziness that's happening here in the West. Yeah, I I don't know. It's like it keeps getting worse. <laughs> it's like I hopefully you guys install someone who can rectify all this BS. But yeah, again, it's like it's I there's a reason why I don't want to get into our own politics too here in the Philippines. It's it's it gets absurd too. But the thing is, it's not it's not woke craziness here in the Philippines. It's just it's just sheer amount of corruption in the Philippines. That's why I don't give a shit anymore. It doesn't matter who your dog is in the game because everybody's just a corrupt piece of shit. <laughs> that, that's why I don't <laughs> want to get into. I just I don't want to get into politics. It's like it doesn't really change my life. Whoever I want to win, whoever gets the seat, it's just a bunch of selfish elites wanting it for their own nefarious purposes. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.